Hello everyone, welcome to the Ask Dr. Lin Show where I solve problems that commercial bakers experience in their everyday lives. Many of you come to bakerpedia.com daily to seek solutions for your baking issues. So hello there, thank you for joining me today. I am Dr. Lin from Bakerpedia, the world's largest resource for technical baking information and the only place you should go first when you need all your technical questions answered on the go. Have a burning question? Wikipedia it! Still haven't solved all your questions? Place any comments on the topics that you're researching on Wikipedia and I'll do my best to answer them on this show. Before I continue, I would like to ask you a favor to please like this video. Click the like button down below and subscribe to this channel so that you can get a notification which is about every week when I post a new video like this. All right, here goes. I'm going to focus today's show on shelf life quality of dough, bread, and cupcakes. Naan is an Indian flat bread that requires little fermentation and stales really fast due to the high heat treatment. Therefore, Naan is a lower moisture product with a higher pH. If your Naan is molding faster than you expect, there are parameters on this page to help you figure it out. Don't forget, Placing in preservatives like cultured wheat is only part of the solution. You really need to sanitize your surroundings and make sure that you package your naan as soon as it reaches an internal temperature of 100 degrees Fahrenheit or no longer than 30 minutes at room temperature. Here are four points to remember for antimicrobial issues. Four tips for preventing mold on cupcakes. Water activity, sanitation, packaging, and preservative. One, go to our water activity page and you will see that mold growth is stopped at a water activity of 0.6 which is about where a ginger snap cookie is. Though the water activity of your cupcake will never be as low as that of a ginger snap cookie, you would have to do whatever you can to fully bake the cupcake and increase the fat in this system to provide a good mouthfeel without dryness. For the frosting part, make sure that you remove all the water and all the butter in the formulation to get that water activity down to below 0.6. Two, sanitation is key. If you do not clean your air and surface areas of mold spores, your product will mold faster. Don't forget to sanitize your wire racks too or your cooling conveyor belts. And lastly, wear gloves when coming into contact with the fruit product, all right? Three, packaging. Now, I know that some of you wait till your entire production shift has finished before calling in your packaging crew to pack things up. This is an ideology that I wanna change in this industry. You have to package when the product is ready to be packaged. It cannot sit up for hours and hours waiting for the packaging crew to arrive. Not only does this continually dries out the product, but the product sits and collects mold on its surface. To prevent early molding, package your product ASAP. Four, preservatives. Notice that I am recommending this as the last alternative. I believe many of you can do without preservatives if using the above three key points. But I also know how hard it is to make these points work. So this is why adding a preservative may be required for the majority of you bakers out there. Potassium sorbate, potassium benzoate, or cleaner alternatives like sorbic acid doesn't impair the final product's flavor when it's used in cupcakes. Reach out to our friends at Belchem through their ad on this page 
to get a sample of sorbic acid today. It sure can. It sure can be used at a high pH, but you just have to use more of it. Why? Well, the propionic acid in the calcium propionate dissociates and become ineffective at higher pH. You have to use two to three times more calpro to make it effective. This is mainly because you are destroying it at a higher pH. So go to our CalPro page and you will learn that at an acidic pH, which is caused by longer fermentation or by adding an acid, CalPro keeps its form intact and effective. Therefore, you will see that you will need less CalPro at a lower pH. Salt does not affect pH, but its presence reduces water activity. Go to our water activity page to learn more. As the addition of salt reduces water activity, this reduces molding as well. When you remove salt or use a salt replacement system, it may not have the same effect as the salt. Therefore, a slight increase in water activity would increase the chance of molding. And that's probably what you're seeing. So what do you have to do if you want to replace salt in your system? Well, increase the amount of solutes in your system by adding in more fiber, sugar, humectants, or gums, and bake out the moisture in your bread, or increase the propionic acids in the form of cultured wheat in your system. So good luck. Again, we follow the tips mentioned previously. Many Indian sweets are high in sugar and sugar significantly reduces water activity. Therefore, sugar is the biggest preservative in Indian sweets. So use the previous four tips to help prevent molding on Indian sweets. Most Indian sweets are also high in fat. If you use ghee or coconut oil, it's a little more shelf stable than say a vegetable oil. So if you can use heart fat in your formulation, you can increase your shelf life more because heart fat reduces rancidity. If you are frying your Indian sweets in vegetable oil, the shelf life of these will be short due to the rancidity issue. In this situation, four things will affect your product's rancidity. Quality of oil. Are you recycling oil? If so, please check your free fatty acid content and make sure it's less than 1%. There are other hints on this page as well that you can use to choose a frying fat. Temperature fluctuation. The more change in temperature you give the product, the more unstable the fat portion becomes and the faster it will rinse it. Therefore, always store your product at room temperature. This is preferred over storing it in the refrigerator or say the freezer, then bringing it to room temperature. Packaging. The less exposure to light you give your product, the more stable it becomes. Therefore, it's preferred that your packaging allows as little light as possible. Chelating agent. Go to this page to learn more about chelating agents. You will need chelating agents to prevent rancidity in your product. If an expected extended shelf life is expected, you need a chelating agent. Well, I hope these four key points help you prevent rancidity in your Indian sweets. If you have any more big product quality questions, send them to support at biggerpedia.com. Don't forget, we now have a private team of consultants as well. Just go check out this page and you can have our team come on site to help you solve your problems. Well, that's all I have for today. Okay, till the next time bakers, you have quality problems, Bakerpedia it. Bye.